Hey there, folks. I got another box for you. It's not a Pelican. It's a Condition 1. So if you saw my video in the past, the Condition 1 accommodates the now pack foam also. So, so yeah, this is the exact same size as the orange one that I did yesterday. I forget the number. But, um, yeah, my good friend Mike asked if I can do another Pelican review i said sure absolutely pretty much <clears throat> this is the third one i'm doing right so pretty much you've seen the whole collection i mean i'm not counting fixed blades i got a ton of fixed blades and i got a ton of beaters i thought i actually want to address that somebody said that um somebody commented that uh they'd like to get a grail knife but it wouldn't sit in a box uh yeah that's you buddy you know uh i'm a collector and believe me i got more knives that are like users the bandit knows he comes over here these are strictly collecting for me for me these are strictly collecting i got a bunch of user knives in the drawer like everybody else right i'm not crazy i'm not going to spend 1200 bucks on a, a custom knife and then go cut cardboard with it that's I, I you know to me to me these are artwork this is a piece of art to me so i'm not going to waste it by crushing a box or cutting garbage or what I got other user knives for that that's just me now are there people out there that actually use their Lamberts their Kirby Lamberts yeah the bandit does the bandit does uh, men of aid uses his bag yeah that's not me <laughs> I want to keep it pristine you know one day maybe I'll give it to my son or my grandson and then they can do whatever they want with it but, you know to each his own uh, don't judge me I won't judge you but I get it. Some people just don't get it. I do have a ton of knives. And yeah, that's for me, it's just collector. And some of them that aren't even collector great. I just love to keep it pristine. Again, to me, it's like a piece of art. Somebody's livelihood. Somebody put their blood and sweat, literally blood, into these knives. So what I have here is... The first one is my Robert Carter F-16 these are one of the few early ones that he did and um, fully custom because I asked Rob, I want a satin blade, and I asked Rob to do like this. I don't even know what you call this pattern, but uh, <laughs> I think uh, Fuji calls it like the Zuba pants from the 80s. But uh, yeah, I just thought it was so cool. I still think it's so cool. Uh, you can see Rob's satin grind on it. Yeah, I've had this forever, folks. If you've been watching the channel, if you've been hanging out with me all these years, you know this is this is old. This is old. Probably at least, yeah, probably 2013, 2014. So it's a long time ago. I still got it. What else we got here? So not all these are custom. There's some production knives in here. Here's another Robert Carter. So I do try to keep the Robert Carters. I've done this recently. And this one is the BBM collaboration, the Bare, Bo Bare Bones model collaboration between Robert Carter and Nick Chuprin. I said it right, Nick. So yeah, I, I, and if you guys, I, I know I've shown this a lot, but you guys want to see what's in this green condition one and it's this one so yeah i got this in the secondary i got this again from my good buddy scoopy loops uh he had this custom these are his custom specs that he requested from rob and nick and um i guess he was trying to make room or he wanted to buy more sneakers my good friend john brown loves his sneakers so he sold it to me for a nice friend price and i was more than happy to have it so yes that's the bbm Oh, another Robert Carter. Nick refinished this for me. So I don't believe this is a collaboration between Chuprin and Carter. This was a Rob Carter custom, um, which was also hand delivered to me at Blade Show. Because, you know, Rob lives in Texas. I lived in New York at the time. And so everything was delivered. Either it's going to go out in the mail or I give him enough time so he can have it prepared for a Blade Show. So I took delivery of this also at Blade Show. It all, it's all Rob Carter's on this side. So this is one of my first Robert Carter knives. Uh, I bought this from him in 2013 at Blade Show on his table the first day that I met Rob. Now, I've been following on Instagram. 
and I was very new at the the knife collecting. I was doing videos, but I was very new at the knife collecting. And I saw this one on Rob's, ta <coughs> on Rob's table. Uh, this was in collaboration with, uh, oh my God, I can't remember his name. I actually sent this back to Rob to refinish. He, he did the pivots. He redid the pivots. I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't think, and maybe he did this, I forget. There it is. That's the model name and for the life of me, I can't remember. I can't remember what it is. Oh my God. Dementia has set in. Okay. <clears throat> so I, I scored this recently at a show. I want to say two years ago. This is from Zeba. I think he did this in collaboration with... Yeah, I believe this is a collaboration between Jason Knight and Michael Zeba. I know, I believe the... The fuller is Jason Knight's design. I know they made a folder before. Um, I'm not 100%. I'm not 100%. So Jason Knight's from Forged and Fire fame. And before that, just an amazing knife maker who makes his own steel. Now, this is not Damascus. This is, I don't even remember the steel, but that Damascus pattern is lasered in to make it appear like Damascus. And you know what? It's pretty awesome. And you can tell it's uh, not real Damascus because the, the exact same pattern is on this side of the blade. Exact. But still pretty badass. Uh, Berg Blades. This is one of his non-flipper pups. So he sent this to me. I ordered, I think it was a pre-order. And I got it. So I am a big fan of Berg Blades. I have all the pups. I have the flipper pups. And I wanted a non-flipper pup. Shout out to Bergie. He's doing good out there. Cool. Clean. Tiny little knife. Yes. Nick Chuprin. God, he's got to make... He makes a good detent. But it's pretty cool. It's got that 3D effect. I've I've said it before in other videos, but um, pretty cool. He's actually Nick. I'm sure right now, as of this recording, is hanging out with Robert Carter at Texas at the International Custom. But that's where he's at. I saw him posting vids earlier. So hopefully he has a good show. This is a knife that I scored. I don't think it was New York Custom Knife Show. I think at the time it was East Coast Custom Knife Show. So the difference was New York Custom Knife Show was when uh, many of the tactical knife makers showed up. In East Coast, a lot of the European knife makers showed up when that was happening. But now it's not. It's gone. Scurvy, my good friend, Jonathan Scurvy, was the one that pointed it out to me. And it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing knife. So he is the son of John Smith, I think there's a middle initial there, a famous, awesome knife maker. And this is his son's folder. Liner lock. Only thing that irks me about this, if you can imagine, is the pocket clip. So I don't know why they put, I don't know why. Why do people put it that way? Uh, I mean, yeah, it'll be great if I was lefty, I guess. I like the blade to sit up against the pocket seam so that it won't open. Or if it opens, it's minimal. So, yeah, it's non-reversible. So, this is a custom knife factory. Production knife. It was designed by Tough Thumbs. I saw this at Blade Show 2018, I guess. Was, the la was it 2018 was the last one? I guess so. Or maybe 2019. And me and the bandit were equally impressed. Got to meet Mike Cooligan over there and saw this one. And pretty, pretty nice work by Custom Knife Factory, by the way. You'll see that I am a big fan. It's got some schmutz on it. I am a big fan of Custom Knife Factory. So, yeah, they, they signed up a bunch of uh, makers that we know. And they're making these production versions 
of their customs and they're making it more affordable for us. Just really gorgeous work. This is a collaboration. Something. There goes. So this is a collaboration between Rob Carter and Nick Chuprin. I forget, MMK1? I forget what they call it. Again, impromptu, folks. I'm just banging out what's in the Pelican as requested. So totally not prepared. Not that I'm ever prepared, but I try. <laughs> but this one has the Groot finish or whatever he calls it, the tree finish that Nick Chuprin put on it. Pretty awesome. Uh, great blade design there. Again, influenced both by Rob and Nick's work. Nice flipper. This was actually a lottery, and I didn't win it. I believe, I believe it was Chris Weinstein. I believe it was Christopher Weinstein that won this, and then um, he entered it. I don't know if he entered it for the purpose of just entering it, and he didn't think he was going to win, but he got picked, and he gave me the lottery ticket. And Rob was more than happy because he's my boy. Okay, these are the Rosentis, uh, again, from Custom Knife Factory. This is the large one. I never hit the lottery for Peter Rosenti's work. Never. Never. And they're, you know, pretty top dollar too, so. But I'm glad I can get it at Custom Knife Factory uh, at a, not, how do you say a discount, but it's a production price. But so badass. I am a big fan of Mr. Rosenti's work. He's a very cool. He's always a gentleman at the shows. Always a nice guy. Always willing to talk to you and discuss. Here's the other one. This is the smaller version. This one looks like he's got a tie mask. His collar. On one side for show. But this is a smaller knife. Gorgeous. So yeah, I don't have any Rosenti's. But I got a couple of his productions from Custom Knife Factory. More Custom Knife Factory. This is so badass. This gentleman makes like, made, made himself popular on Instagram by his amazing, amazing grinds. And he decided to start making his own folders. And he did. He made some customs. And then he did a collaboration with Custom Knife Factory. And they produce this just gorgeous piece of art look at that beautiful carbon fiber that is just just beautiful i don't think it's shred i forget what it's called but it's money so money and look at the grinds that is just so nice so nice so there's a custom knife factory logo and there's the logo of the the maker the designer A lot of people say that this looks a lot like a Strider. I mean, I, I guess if you, I mean, it's kind of Strider-like maybe. And I don't know. I don't think so. I don't see it. I Maybe. Anyway, it's gorgeous. I think these are all custom knife factories. So here's another one. This is a collaboration with Christensen Knife Works. The beautiful, I believe, raindrop Damascus. Beautiful, beautiful bolster. Nice carbon fiber. That is a sexy knife. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the colors. I'm glad I can do this with the daylight. So you guys can see how gorgeous that bolster is. That's pretty fancy, folks. That is like custom materials right there. At not a custom price. You know? So, just a really beautiful knife. So this is uh, Trouble Blade Works. I've, I've done a couple of reviews of Tim's work. Uh, I've been buying Tim's work for a million years now. This is the little mofo full tie. Uh, he also has the debt collector. Um, yeah. Tim makes some amazing work from Canada over there. And his... Knives are in demand now, and I want to attribute the popularity of his designs, of course, for the design and the uniqueness of it, but Tim also makes them sparingly. Um, 
I'm guessing he's doing his full-time job and then every now and then, every couple of years, boom, he comes out with another one and they go like that. I think these go for like over a grand. Um, yeah, the demand is there. The demand is there. Look at that beautiful pattern on the titanium. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Satin on the pivot. That is beautiful. So this one is uh, Jeff Vandermeulen. But if you, again, if you've seen the channel before, you know it didn't start off looking like this. I had my good buddy, recalcitrant American, put like this. I forget what he calls his finish, but I call it the group finish. And I get that from like Peter Rosenthi because he had a knife that looked like this. And he called it the group finish because his son thought it looked like Groot from, you know, um, the Marvel movie. I forget what it is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I sent it to Recalcitrant American. He did this amazing work. I did a whole video on this. Look at that. That thing looks like wood. That's titanium, folks. And he made it look like aged wood. He didn't do anything to the blade. Blade is as it was with its hormone. But I've had this forever, too. Poltergeist, uh, Poltergeist Blade Works. Just amazing work handmade if you don't watch if you don't watch Jakub's videos he does he used to anyway I don't know if he still does but he used to record the build and now he makes his own hardware he makes he makes his own washers it's pretty much everything is made by Jakub himself and that's pretty amazing now this was a custom knife to my specs I thought at the time I would love it because it's gonna have Nick's colors there it is I'm not feeling the blue. I'm not feeling the blue. I do love the orange. What do you think? What do you think would have been a better color? I mean, it's only a, a backspacer. It's only, but yeah, I was, after a while, I got tired of the blue, but I do love the orange. I do love the orange. Yeah. Signature chain ring bolts done by Jakub over there. I believe... The first time I was introduced to Jakub's work was through Menevade. So a lot of the work, a lot of the knives that I like are influenced by the Wieners and Steel Crew. Uh, this is another one that I got from the secondary from a good friend, X Machiavelli. He won this, I think, in a lotto on Instagram. He had it for like a month. And then I guess, you know, he fondled it and he was done with it. And he asked if I wanted it. And yeah, of course I bought it. Oh, so this is a flipper. Uh, it's also a thumb hole opener. This is so badass. Look at that thing. Who makes knives like that? That is gorgeous. That is beautiful. This is a large knife too. This is a... What? You cannot pull this out in public. You will be shot. <laughs> but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Look at that. It reminds me a little bit of uh, from Mad Magazine. I'm um, showing my age here. I'm dating myself. But there was a cartoon on Mad Magazine called Spy vs. Spy. I think I mentioned that before in a review. And that's what this blade shape reminds me of. Jay Kobach. This is number one, folks. Somewhere it says it. There it is. It says it right there. Number one. So, again, influenced by one of the wieners. Fast Bandit had one. His was not a flipper. Not a flipper, I don't believe. We called it the Hershey bar because it just looked like a big Hershey bar. And then Jake decided to make it again. And this thing is just phenomenal. Just a gorgeous all black Full tie, bad assery. Nice. And look at that. Atropos knife. A little balisong. A little tiny balisong. Uh, yeah, if you don't know, this man makes badass balisongs at a steal of a price. I mean, he's in Europe. I want to say Russia. Is he in Russia? Atropos Knife. Follow him on Instagram. You want a good deal on a Balasong? That's custom made. Not 
produced, not uh, farmed out. He does it himself. This is the guy to check out. And I have a few of his, if you know the channel. I don't even know why this is in this Pelican. It, I mean, this Condition 1. It just made it in there. But beautiful anal work. You can see it's got gold and pink and purple. Zen pins. So when you ask him to make the knife, he'll ask you. He can even just do whatever grind you want on the blade. Totally custom. Right? You want a sheath foot style. You want a worn cliff. You want a drop point. He can do it. And if you want Zen pins, which I have, or if you want tank pins, which is not my preferred bow song uh, pins. I like the Zen. Don't like the tang. But yeah, I forget how much I paid for this, but it was not expensive. I want to say probably 200 bucks. $200. He was just, he had a whole bunch of them and he just wanted to release them. And he does that every now and then. So check him out at your post knife. Alrighty, folks. That's everything in the green condition one. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Peace.